welcome, welcome to welcome to the the Bud Light show where Ben Cyper, the host, harasses his co-workers. Welcome. Hey guys, uh that that's one intro. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the TLBL show. I'm your host, Ben Zyper. I am joined by the general manager for the League of Legends team. Uh wh- what is your name, sir? Uh my name is June Kang. I am the GM for League of Legends Team Liquid. Still? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. I hired you. <laughs> and I'm joined by our head coach, interim no. head coach. Interim head coach, sorry. Jones Cold Anderson. Beautiful. Thank you. I, I actually liked your intro more. It just felt more natural. It came from my heart. Uh, how have you guys been? I, I haven't seen both of you that much this week. Uh, how have I been? Um, well... I've enjoyed uh, some some time off. Uh, it's been nice. Um, the sun has been shining, um, and the food has been great. But I, don't, I mean, it's very uh, very very normal life vibes the past week. The sun has been shining. Yeah, it's actually been really cloudy and gloomy the past <laughs> week. Has it? Yeah. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. No. Dodo. Uh, the sun has been shining. <laughs> uh, I I enjoyed uh, my time. You know, I was I was in San Francisco a little bit. You know, I was taking some time off. I'm I'm here back, just preparing to go back to world for us to go through Netherlands. You know, but you know, for the time being, it was it was good. Cool. I I want to get into what we were doing. I want to talk about worlds. I want to talk about finals. But first, I want to play a quick game. Uh, you both are two of. The only people, not the only people, but very few people on our, our team have actually graduated high school. Uh, we learned a few weeks ago when we were wow. talking about it. And, wow. well, you know, you know, the competitive gamer life, you got to commit at a young age. Hmm. Uh, did you guys have senior superlatives in your yearbook or high school? Like it, like a thing where it'd be like, you know, best car or like best dressed, things like that? Yeah. Um, uh, I was known as the clown. So oh. you did have it is what you're saying? Y- yes, and also I was known for having the the biggest calves in the in the school. <laughs> biggest what? The calves. <laughs> can we show that in the show? Yeah, can we can we show Jonas's can, calves real can quick? We uh, Jonas, this? just just pull it up on the table. Show everyone uh, your calves. I tried to get him to show Claire's calves last week, and he wouldn't. Where's the camera? <clears throat> well, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> what were you in your high school yearbook? I was the uh, the most sleepiest person. <laughs> <laughs> Were you actually? I was. Yeah. That's an awful superlative <laughs> to get. Why? I mean, at least I was in the yearbook. <laughs> yeah, everyone's in the yearbook, Dota, aren't they? That Twice. makes no <laughs> sense. That makes literally no sense. Yeah, I was. I was. I don't Most sleepiest. That's something your body does like involuntarily. Mm-hmm. You're really good at just having a I, body. I'm, I'm just having. I'm just really good at being me. I'm. I'm I think you're great at being you. Um, I thought it'd be fun. It's since the end of the split. If I give you two of these whiteboards. And then I'm going to list some superlatives out. And I want you guys to write who you think would have that superlative on the team. Because it's the end of the split. Everyone's graduating. We're all so moving we, on to Worlds. Okay. So, so we're, what, giving, we're giving one to each. All the, all the players? It does, you could do the same player twice. It could all be me if you think that I'm like really funny or cool and stuff like that. It could all be Myron, our fantastic cameraman who's uh, in the corner. Mm. It could be everyone. Anyone who's involved with the team, really. Okay. Um, and we just have to give one. Well, no. You, I'm going to list them. And then you both will write down who okay. you think gets it. Okay. And then we'll see who you think. So Dodo, this oh, is okay, your okay, board. Okay, okay, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. Yeah. Did I do a bad job of explaining that? Or is Jonas just slow? Uh, my brain is like not really both. working. Probably. A little bit of both? Yeah. Okay. So the first superlative that we're going to give out is a uh, class clown. Who's the class clown of the team? Oh, that one felt a little pretty Benjamin Cyper. He spelled my last name right. Of course. Of course. I, I wrote your contract. <laughs> you love bringing that up. <laughs> I own you. <laughs> I, I actually do own part of you. Yeah, you so don't. I don't in, like that. It's in the contract. Uh, Jonas. Wait, which part do you own of me? Mm. Like my left foot, my right foot? I can't put that. So I don't know. Like, I don't know if you're just bad at spelling, but like, why is my name on this thing called Joe Nuts? <laughs> Can we get a zoom in? Like, wh- what the fuck happened? <laughs> Joe Nuts. Joe Nuts. I don't know. It's the American way of saying your name, actually. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Makes you say sense. tactical. Yeah. So uh, it's because, so uh, I mean, uh, I know you're a little bit deeper, mm-hmm. uh, Ben. 
and uh, I, I've seen you grow away from the clown, you know? Mm -hmm. You've evolved over this year. Into what? A bigger clown. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I, I choose Eddie. Yeah. Eddie is the clown. He yeah. is. Ha, him and his, uh, t his, his TikToks have been uh, one, one hell of a journey. Did you guys just hear someone get a text? I just, I just did. What was the text? Can yeah. we read the text? I think you, yeah, I think you got a mail, can we, Ben. Can we play That's a, not me. Can you we got play a, a game? I think Ben no, got... We just, we just put our phones here. We read the text that comes to okay. your phone. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I thought you just got an email of like, hey, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that was me. <laughs> Fire Ben. Yeah. Okay, the next superlative we're going to give you is... Uh, oh, biggest flirt. Ooh. Ooh. Biggest flirt. Biggest flirt. Hmm. Think, guys. Think. Biggest flirt. See, if I had a whiteboard, I would say Dodo right now. Dodo's always come up and going, hey. 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 Dodo's always standing by the water cooler. Hey. Okay. Where's the zoom in? You can't. I'm not the biggest flirt. The leg is flirting with me all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> it's, a, it's to a point where That's probably I, like very, that, that's very confusing for the viewers to, so I'll, I'll explain the story. Uh, so Ben, uh, in Danish means leg. So, the leg. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Dodo, who do you think the biggest flirt is? Tactical. Oh, Ooh, yeah. can we get a little bit of justification there? I mean, he, go on his Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> go on his Twitter. He, he, he's always looking for girlfriends, man. He is, hmm. he's, just, he's just flirting out in public. So if you if you want to date tactical, you write into the show. Yeah. If if you want to date tactical, just mm. type it in chat. Yeah. Type it in chat. Slide into Twitter DMs. Yeah. Um. He's send a letter. Mm. All right, guys. We'll do two more. Okay. Who? Oh, most likely to drop their phone in the toilet. Hmm. 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 See, I have an answer for this one, but I don't want to influence you guys because I also know I have a big influence. Jonas told me today he didn't want me to mind control him. Don't you dare. Um, mm. I've, seen, I've seen someone drop his phone quite a few times. So I'll go with that. Tactical. Tactical. Yeah. The reason for it is because he is probably the guy that is on his phone the most, mm -hmm. which also causes him to drop his phone <laughs> the most. And I could totally see a world where he would drop it right in, in the toilet. Yeah. Dodo, you have a similar answer? No. Jensen, what's your what's no, your I, reason? I couldn't come up with like a good good one, but I know I know Jensen has like a big phone. He's he's like a Pro Max, and mm. then you know he's a, he's a small guy. So. I I would think it's Barney because he's just on heavy. the toilet the most often. I didn't. Well, I didn't want to share That's... that. I didn't, I didn't want to share that bet <laughs> because I care for my players. But I guess you mm. you know you just want to share everything. If there's any doctors out there that want to talk to yeah. Barney. <laughs> I, I guess you just don't care about your I players. I guess you just don't care. <laughs> Guys, we're going to do one more, okay? Nice. Okay, Let's would, go. Would you rather do most likely to survive the Hunger Games or mo most likely to be arrested? Uh, the last one. Arrested? Yeah. Arrested. arrested. Most likely yeah. to get arrested. Yeah. Do you guys have a criminal record, either of you? The problem here, Ben, is that this is getting recorded, so we obviously we can't talk about it. Yeah, but how, many, how many viewers are watching right now? Uh, 1,700. 1,700? Damn. Is that actually honest? No, that's not true. It's like 17 probably, right? 57. 57? That's a, 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 a lot of people. It's a lot of people. Dodo's entire family, Jonas's entire family. 57 really important people. Mm. Really important. Dodo's going to hire all of you. Yeah. Who do you think is the most likely to be arrested, guys? Dodo, let's have you go first this time. Ben Zyper. Thank you. Thank you, Dodo. <laughs> any, any explanation? I think that? it's obvious. <laughs> uh, there's no explanation needed. Jonas? Um, so I've, I've chosen Bonnie Morris. <laughs> uh, the reason for it again, obviously I can't, exp I can't show share all the details, but after living in the same apartment as this guy for nine months, uh, not this year, but two years back, uh, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. It just, it just does. He was committing a lot of crimes. Well, I mean, again, what is like pirating movies? Uh, well, that's that's just 
me just sharing it a little bit, a little bit of the the truth will 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 share it all. I forgot. I forgot yeah, to tell you he, guys. This is supposed to be the tell all episode. He did kill a man. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the tape. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Barney wants to play rugby today. He told us he wants to play rugby. I think that'd be a bad idea. Rugby. Yeah. Mm. During season, bad idea. I like beach volleyball. <clears throat> yeah, we could play beach volleyball. Why don't we play Wii Sports Resort this week? Mm. Wii Sports. You know that game? It's the Wii. The Wii controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have it? No, but we could budget it. We don't. It's in the budget, right? No. Comedy card. All right, guys. <laughs> let's let's talk about let's talk about the finals. Let's talk about you know the week off. Jonas, um, do Yo. you just like not care about Viego? Uh, so apparently my name today is Joe Nuts. So I would I would like you I would like for you to refer to me as 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 that. Sorry, Joe Nuts. What uh <laughs> what, what's the deal with the No Viego ban? Uh. <clears throat> let's just get to it, man. You just want to get to it? Yeah, right let's away? just talk about the No Viego yeah. man. Spend the next 30 Actually, minutes. Actually, before we even get to that, Dodo, how disappointed were you with the No Viego ban? I mean, it's. <laughs> I told him to ban it. <laughs> <laughs> Barney, in, Bar Barney in the squad episode said, why don't we ban mm. Viego? <laughs> The thing is, Ben, like logically, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But that's when you have to like go to the next level and go against the logic. Um, no. Uh, interesting. So do you want like the full story? Or yeah, just totally. Like, the, okay. I think, I think everyone wants to know, really. All 57 people. <sighs> okay. So game one, uh, we are on the red side. Uh, they decided to ban uh, two junglers, which left up Viego and Lisan. And uh, if we banned one of them, they would take the other one. So we decided that trading was the right, um, the right option in the moment. And we were pretty happy with the trades we got. So that's why uh, it's very simple to uh, draft around uh, a team that chooses a pick uh, first, because then you can set up the trade you want. Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's, the, um, that's the story. Was that a great choice? maybe maybe not but in the moment we felt like it was the it was the right thing to do um i think uh in hindsight uh changing up the side from for game two would have probably been the best uh but uh we live with the decision we make and uh i i respect the the people that wants or the, i respect the people that uh thinks that we should have done things differently because it makes you reevaluate re things uh but i also uh we did not just deliberately give them viego and be like yeah take it you know and we get nothing for it we were actually uh, uh within the mindset that we give them that and we we take x for it and then uh that will give us a winning condition so that makes yeah. sense um what do you think happened on on that uh, during the game what do you think happened that day because i think all of us expected us to beat 100 thieves and you know not to keep rubbing salt in the wound but mm. I, I'm sure you both were a little surprised. <coughs> I was a little surprised that we lost. So what do you think happened? Dota, let's start with you. I mean, uh, that series kind of reminded me of our, well, my experience when we went to MSI Finals against G2. It was, it was just like, whatever we tried to do, you know, things weren't working and the, the guys were just playing pretty bad. Um, I mean, we, we just had to adapt and adapt to the situation, play, play one, well play with what we had. But... You know, the whole whole situation kind of felt very similar to to well, the the series against G two and MSI. Um, it was <clears throat> you know it, we tried one strategy, didn't work. We tried the other one, you know, it still didn't work, and then we were just kind of you know trapped. And we we tried you know everything that we we prepared for, but you know in the end, you know you know the the other team just played better, and we played really we played worse. You know that's the end of the story. Mm. Um, so you know nothing. You know, not nothing more to it. And I think you know we played bad; they played better, and it was the it was a quick three zero. Jonas, anything to add to that? Jonas, uh, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, anything to add to that? Uh, yeah, a, a couple of things. Uh, one, I think Hunter Fees played well. They had read our way of playing the game well, and had uh, good defensive strategies to. Um, make sure that the way we would usually progress the game would not uh, happen. And then we got a little bit lost. Um, so that's one side of it. I think they had a, they had good preparation for us. Uh, second was, I think our last uh, 
two one of one and a half two weeks uh preparation for the for the final was uh not great um we didn't really progress in those weeks we found a lot of uh progress in the first in the first week of the the playoffs uh but after that uh it was kind of it was actually le- like we we probably uh degraded a little bit more uh and we we didn't really found find like new ways to uh win the game uh so uh that's why it came became like pretty repetitive of how we were playing the game and um so there's a lot of reflection uh, around that like how we were doing things leading up to it i think on the day we just didn't show up but that's one thing uh that can happen sometimes uh but for me it's more interested to look into how we prepared the the week and like week and a half leading up to the final because that's where i feel like uh we lost uh in the end mm-hmm. um and there were different there are different reasons for it um some of it is like fatigue for the season some of it is uh maybe a little bit complacency maybe it's uh, there there are different uh, like different sources to the issue uh but that's where we have to uh i have at least spent some time uh, looking inwards and be like hey uh if we were in this position again what would we what would we do what would we do differently uh because wells is coming up so we we got to make sure we don't do the same mistake uh twice and moving forward to worlds albert said something really good in the last <clears throat> episode of squad he said that although it sucks to lose this was a wake up call uh like the finals was a wake up call I, i'm pretty sure he said this it may not have been in the final cut but i'm pretty sure it was um he did say that he did say okay i didn't watch the final cut i only watched the the edit so you so don't watch the squad i said i watched the edit the one that i had to watch did you like the video yeah i liked it mm. you sure yeah i liked it and subscribed actually for to team liquid to youtube did you ring te- the bell to ring the bell what does that mean <laughs> oh yeah okay. yeah i have notifications now um albert said that this was a uh, an opportunity to reevaluate mm. uh how are we going to reevaluate? What what do we learn from that match that we can bring to Worlds so we don't have a similar situation at Worlds? Play better. <laughs> Play better. I mean, it's it's the most simple thing, but I mean, Worlds is a whole different. It's a whole mm-hmm. different, you know, thing that than what you play throughout the whole year. Like, uh, it's like an interesting situation where like you go into Worlds, there's a patch, and then you start practicing against the teams you never practiced before. And then the the most interesting, I, I guess, the fun thing is the meta changes and shifts every single day. Like usually, it takes about like a week for like a meta to shift, you know, within the region. But you know, like the with, with all the top teams being there, and then them trying out. So like you find what you think is the best pick, best strategy, best in you know, the meta, and then the other team finds the an answer, and then after that, other team finds an answer. It happens so so quickly. So, so in, in Worlds, the best thing that we need to focus on is to make sure we focus on what answers we have against, you know, the teams that we play against uh, in, in our group, especially. And then every, every single win matters in groups, you know, like that one win against that team would have, would have been, would have been the game deciding, the group deciding thing. So, um, but once the better time, you know, we just have to get there gets it traded and we'll we'll start practicing it's uh especially on like from from a a mindset perspective that's probably where the the biggest difference is because you you go there and you boot camp for uh three to four weeks then you go into the um, the group stage and you have six games to show what you have been working on for uh three four weeks and that can that can be it you know that can be like your final product. So you you gotta make sure that when you when you get there and you spend uh, the, f- the first like three, four weeks that your mindset is about growing. You gotta get better, get better, get better, get better so that your product for the group stage leads you to go on to the next stage. Um, and so it's very, in- it's gonna be very intense. It's gonna be very uh, focused around those three, four weeks because those are the weeks that will determine how far you can go in the tournament. Uh, the other aspect is like the adaptation on the in the day by day in the in the group stage, but like the, f- the three four weeks, those are like what is gonna be the the game changer in uh, at Walt's from from my perspective. Yeah. 
Dodo, can you let the fans know uh, what are we going to be doing to boot camp? Like, what's the schedule like for the next month uh, before Worlds? So we will be flying to AWTF EU in the Netherlands, Utrecht. Uh, we're going to be flying next Monday, actually. And then we'll be there until we have to go to Worlds. We don't know where yet. Uh, and uh, we, you know, we'll be practicing there. I mean, like, it's it's really great that we have the facility there. You know, we have the support staff there, um, all the the equipment, everything set up, the, the housing, the food, whatever it is. So, you know, we'll be there. You know, we'll be practicing in a pretty good environment. Um, and then we'll fly out to to Worlds. And then, you know, we'll be, I think the, the groups will start. I'm not sure which date yet, but, you know, mm -hmm. but, you know, we'll, we'll have like three, four weeks of practice. And is that typical? We usually have three to four weeks to practice? Yeah, typically. You know, last time we went, uh, the two times, three times we went, you know, we weren't, we went a lot long w before, especially in China. We had to go a lot earlier, but, you know, uh, last time it was in EU and Korea. You know, we went, we usually boot camp for three, four weeks and then we, be, we go play. And then, you know, th those boot camps are, sometimes the most stressful environments that you'll experience but you know you know this time around i think we we prepared pretty well for you know just having having fun you know like i think i think that's actually the the most important thing you know at worlds as well or just anytime when you're playing the game it, it's, it's a game in the end right you just want to have fun and but you want to obviously win at the same time and you just have to recognize and realize you're just here to win but at the same time you, you don't want to stress yourself out so what do you think will be the easiest thing for our team to do during this boot camp and what do you think will be the hardest thing for our team to do let's start with joe nuts <clears throat> the easiest thing uh so probably the easiest thing is to uh wake up in the morning um because naturally your body wakes up not that he was the sleepiest in or, high school um and then probably also at night uh, when you are trying to sleep, uh, when you close your eyes, that you will you will sleep. That that should also be like relatively easy. That's pretty hard. Um, <laughs> it's the hardest thing. You just you just need the right equipment to help you. You know. Are you sure? Yeah. Someone to hold your hand. We have Ben. I read him stories before uh, Ben. <laughs> We're doing Good Night Moon tomorrow. Uh, it's actually very exciting. <laughs> ben, this question is like so. It's 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 Just a complicated it's complicated question. Uh, what is going to be the easiest and hardest? Uh, Hard, hardest thing will be dealing with Ben in Europe. So then I don't want to go, <laughs> Dodo. I, we'll don't take me. The hardest thing. I think um, the both like the easiest and hardest thing is to play the game. That is going to be my answer. Okay. Um, the reason for it is, one, it's playing against teams that you haven't played against before is going to bring a lot of motivation. But it's also going to be the hardest thing because we're going to play against opponents that will challenge us in ways we haven't been challenged in a while. So um, that will that will be it. And Dodo, you and I have talked a lot about this in our office. Dodo and I share an office, everyone. Um, so even though he acts like he's so much bigger and better than me remember he's still sharing an office with me so you know i'm i'm requesting my own office oh did you get it for next year no oh okay well then i'll see you in our office um <laughs> this is a team that can get out of groups is something you've been telling me and i i believe you because you're a confident man uh what feels different about this team that i'm sure every year you think the team is the team that can get a group so what about this year's team makes you confident well i have more confidence this year because of the way that we were able to play in adapt uh during uh, during playoffs uh, obviously like finals aside we i think we were able to actually play through our strengths uh and be flexible in our, in our play style which was somewhat hard and is really hard to do especially at worlds because you kind of try a lot of different things a lot of different play styles uh, and then you you fail against really good teams, and, you, and it feels like nothing's going to work, and you kind of fall back to what you're good at, your comfort, I would say, and then what worked in against NA, um, and then usually it doesn't work in the world. Mm -hmm. um, but for for this 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 group of players, I I felt that you know we were we could and we could execute pretty good uh, strategy. So I I, I feel pretty feel pretty good. You know, I, I thought, you know, we were 
we had pretty good chance. You know, I, I always thought we had pretty good chance, and we were really close every single time. But this time, I think um, we could actually beat you know some of the teams in the in the in the other regions. Jonas, you're confident too. Of course, you Tell have me about to, it. You have to be. You have to be always. Uh, we always go to to play to win. That's just how it is. Uh, it's it's a little bit uh, like talking about it beforehand for me is like complicated because uh, I just I, I've watched all the regions throughout the year and uh, I see strengths and weaknesses everywhere and you don't really know exactly what's going to happen before you play them. So uh, I, I'm just I'm, I'm like just excited as as hell uh to see how we mesh up and like how we play against some of the other teams uh and uh, see how much we can uh learn from the the teams that we're gonna face in in, in practice leading up to it uh so yeah i i'm just I, i'm actually just very very excited about the whole uh the whole trip not just playing uh but like the whole um four or five six seven eight nine weeks that's the final right nine. yeah yeah nine weeks from now yeah, yeah. i was i was ca- like yeah, yeah. yeah i i saw you lost I thought, well i thought you were just showing off that you could count now and i was like you did learn something in the break between now and then i know i haven't been to college like you ben so but like me or dodo or me apparently apparently i finished high school that is so it's very impressive we're very proud of you thank you thank uh you. We talked about it briefly at the beginning, but this week we kind of had a chill week. Uh, there wasn't a lot of structure. Everyone kind of did their own thing, but there also was team hanging out. So what have you two been up to? I actually haven't, I really haven't seen you two that much. I saw you like twice. Dude, we started out here, Ben. This was the first question of the episode. I know, but now I want to actually get into what you've been up to. Oh, not okay, just okay. generic, okay, I okay. was relaxing. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's backtrack. So uh, <laughs> Monday... I, I don't eat every day. <laughs> Just give me two things you did. Give me two things you did in the past week. Um, two things. Two things. I watched um, a movie. What movie did you see? Uh, in a movie theater. Uh, now Dodo can't say that. With, that was one of his things. Too. With, that was my thing. <laughs> I, wa- I watched with, a movie. With Dodo. I watched the movie. <laughs> I watched Shang-Chi. Yeah. With, with the team. Mm-hmm. With the, mm-hmm. the whole Academy team. With Jonas, with hmm? Spawn, with uh, with Bowen, with you know Barney, Barney. That's fucked up that you just forgot him. I was gonna say Barney. Okay, mm-hmm. sorry. You just you always end up interrupting people. What? Yeah. You weren't you weren't there. You heard me. I was. I picked you up. You um, weren't there. I picked people up. Did you watch what else? No, I didn't. Yo, yo, yo. We, we gotta we gotta get back on track here. Okay. <laughs> I'm <laughs> the new. You, host. I'm the new host. Uh, thank you. So, thank you. Uh, so what else? So uh, I was out playing uh, a round of golf once. Uh, that was nice. Um, I went to dinner with uh, some uh, of our competitors' coaches. Nice. And talk a lot of shit about. They let an interim coach moment. into the dinner. Yeah, I don't know why, honestly. <laughs> uh, no, just catching up with some of my uh, former teammates and uh, coaches. That has been nice. Um, as I said, I one of the absolute best things about living in LA is that you go outside and the sun is shining. So that I have been enjoying. Uh, and then as much time away from Ben Cypress as possible has also been nice. Didn't do a good um, job. You asked me to hang out like three times, but whatever. No. <laughs> um, yeah. So that, that pretty much sums it up. Um, yeah. Else just been in thinking mode. Dodo, can we get two things from you? Um, besides the movie, uh, like I was in San Francisco for a little bit. What were you doing? Just chilling. Just, you know, visiting places. Um, and then um, I get back, you know, I just, yeah, and then I just kind of chilled and then got back, back to work. We actually have a little movie uh, to watch together right now. Um, Zach, if we have a clip if Zach could pull it up. Um, Zach's over there on the computers. Thank you so much, Zach. Um, this is my favorite movie. It's one I, I I've seen a few times. Trash actually, I was wondering if you guys can tell me what's going on right here. Get the stun reliably. Okay. And less trashy goes in. 
Oh, that's me. You know, really that's me. Well with kind of a he, is he going in? Oh, he's going in. Started. Oh, he's not going in. Okay. Really, we okay, have to He's scouting. He's scouting. This was the old Rek'Sai where you could. He will make you, or break this game. Uh, you were basically just like a ward butt, and, so far and then you had your ultimate to play the map. It was fantastic champion. I love that champion. Kills. You think it's pretty much he's all about He's lurking. I love Enemy esports have just taken turns having one of their players carry. In their breakout game, it was Otter. Enemy esports is just controlling the game. Dodo eight. That's pushing. Oh, he's looking. Oh. Okay. Okay. And it gets a lantern out. The box comes character. in, and they just cannot get the kill. Inox at half health, forced ult out for no damage, and the counter engage comes okay. in. Okay. Rexai is trolling. Oh my, oh my god. god! Can we get a pause on that screen real quick? Wait, can we rewind to get a pause there? What did that just say? Not get the kill. Inox at half health, forced ult out for no damage. Hold on, hold on. And the counter engage comes in. Calitro's not. Oh, that's oh, pause right there. It's a slab. Team Liquid. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Team Eight Dodo Eight has slain enemy Trashy. So, uh, if you didn't know, Dodo just, and Jonas... Just, just taking out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how he just KS to kill, by the way? He walks up and like slaps, in the, slaps me in the face. It's wow. called kill secured, man. Come on. <laughs> okay. yeah. These are from the days when you guys used to play against each other in NA. Yeah, yeah good times. Did you ever meet before? No. No? no. You no. I saw you guys shake hands. It's a little awkward after the game. Because, uh, you know, Dodo mm. kicked your ass so yeah. bad. It, it was always me walking to him to take, shake his hand. I don't yeah. know what that means but mm. it was always me going to up to him team diff what uh what place did you guys end when you were in the lcs well like what what rank i think uh were we 10 for nine i don't remember but yeah. i was seventh place and then seventh place mm. Mm. so i got relegated wow yeah and now you're the coach yeah uh How'd that happen i <clears throat> i don't know uh, maybe the people that are hiring are not looking for the right things. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, so, fun fact: uh, when I when I got uh, after I got relegated, I went back to Europe, and uh, this was when I just uh, joined uh, Splice. In the first year of Splice, we were actually pretty bad, and we were only in the first year. Yeah. Also, no, no. In the first split, in okay. the in the second split, in the first year, we went to Worlds. So uh that was not bad uh but that that first split back we were in this was back when the relegation was done we were in relegation match and i was i was the i was the potentially the first guy ever to be relegated from na and eu whoa uh which would have completely cemented my career as something positive because you know if you get remembered for something you know that's that's usually a good thing you'll be remembered for um, the Diego thing uh, okay <laughs> am i allowed to leave the show now <laughs> uh no so but we didn't get relegated which i was pretty sad or oh, yeah i would have made history ben okay totally uh, cool. but yeah sadly not but then we made world so it was okay yeah but yeah that was a little bit of a longer story than anticipated but yeah uh i think we can move on from dodo <laughs> killing me there was another clip <laughs> <laughs> I, I have multiple clips of do you, uh you guys played each other twice i think you won both times right dodo yeah that's pretty cool that's i do not feeling. remember anything I mean, it's, it's not really achievement <laughs> why did you change your name from trashy uh so um there was this guy who uh texted me he was like Trashy is my name. Um, and there so, were two trashies. Yeah. So so what happened is uh, there's this guy. He texts me like, "You stole my name. My name is Trashy." Uh, and I went to his profile, and yeah, he was pretty like a pretty trashy guy, to be <laughs> honest. Um, so I was like, I, I can't be like that guy, you know. So I I, I needed to be myself, and uh, that's why I changed to Cold because that's me. Mm -hmm. And Dodo, you were Dodo 8. Yeah. That's because you were on Team 8? Yeah. Why did only some of you have the 8 at the end of your names and the others just didn't? Every, everyone had 8 in their names. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, like like Kelly, Kelly Troll Kelly 8. Kelly Troll 8. Ma Sushi 8. Maple Street Maples, 8. Yeah. Corpus 8. Yeah. I, in that clip, I, I think they don't yeah. all have... Do they all have 8s? Who? Neom? Neon 8. Neon? Neon joined late. Mm -hmm. but, Too late for him? Yeah. But, you know, we have 8s. Mm. That's cool. That we should all be like cold for four. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Mm. Uh, Dota, Dota four. Dota four. Mm. How many times have you been to Worlds? This is my fifth time. So Dota five. 
but fourth time with liquid so this is our year this is our year we win yeah um at uh, so in the office sometimes when there's less than stuff to do dodo and i will 1v1 we haven't done it in a long time um because last time someone won three times and the other person just got really upset because they're a pro player ex-pro player and they should be ex -pro player? <laughs> so when did you say you guys are doing this because i see you guys doing this every day we don't do this every day not okay. every day not okay. every day we haven't done it in a long time a long okay. time um, I thought it'd be fun if we can test your coaching skills, Jonas. See if you're actually a, a good coach. Okay. Uh, and see if you can coach me into beating Dodo 8. So my skills will be determined by whether or not I can make your hands work for a couple of minutes. Yes. Okay. Are you holding his hand? I, I think that's that's a great way to, to figure that out. This is for your job next year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because if you beat Dodo, if you if you can coach me into beating Dodo, you can do anything. Okay. Okay. Even yeah. though I've already beaten him three times. Okay. okay. Easy, easy peasy. So I'm going to grab our mouses. Dodo's a real prima donna. He has like a mouse with like a bungee and stuff. I, I need my equipment. <laughs> do you need a monster before too? I need a roller to mm. get my distance from the monitor. So uh, first first uh, tip of my uh, my coaching pen for for you is uh, I need you to just comp just chunk a are we, monster. Are we, are we uh, because that that's what I what that's do you mean? Chug, a, chug a Bud Light. Chug a Bud Light, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, and no, yeah. we also don't encourage people to chug uh, okay. Bud Light. So what are you what are you even talking about? Uh, can we just erase what I just said <laughs> the last minute? So am I supposed to come over here? Or yeah. What? Could you come? Could you come right next to me on your lap? Yeah. Not on my. Well, not on my lap. Okay. You know. So am I supposed to move this or not? Oh, dude, Cherry posted the duck face photo. That's the one she went with. I shouldn't have given her that option. Oh man. Oh man. I didn't look that cute in that one. No, you look cute in every photo, Dodo. Don't, don't you ever <coughs> say that. Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. That's me, and then Dodo okay. Eight is you. From okay. Iron is in game. Liquid One One Two is in game. I mean, it's 7 p.m. It's okay for him to be in a game at this hour. I'm, I'm saying he is working as hard as... As us? As core. Oh. <laughs> so, Ben. What's up? Talk to me. Uh, Dodo, what, can you pretend not to hear us right now? Can you... I can't hear you. Okay. What kind of uh, champions do you uh, excel at? I'm really good at champions that kill. Okay. Uh, I, I, well, the, all right, the last time I beat Dodo, I think... I beat him on Yasuo and I beat him on Renekton. We so, need okay. to do the same champions. So, same champions. Uh, okay. Important. Okay. You are uh, you are in you. You are like average at the game. Like gold is like average. Okay. Yeah. So you want to minimize the the skill. Like you want to minimize the champions that require a lot of skill. Okay. Because you you simply just you're too old and you don't have the hands for it. You know, uh, that that's just how it is. Um, what, what are we playing? I'm, I'm waiting for my coach to tell me he's drafting <coughs> for me right now. Okay. So is he betting Diego? <laughs> That's that champion is probably a little bit too hard for you. No, I can. I can um, play let me think. Let me think. Uh, so normally in one you want the best champion for like the ADCs, uh, but I don't really trust you to play <laughs> play that. May, uh, you could play. Um, you could play uh, play play Olaf. I hate Olaf. Uh, play Choga. I. Dude, Chugga, this is gonna be such a boring one v one. I want a bloodbath. Uh, play. Uh, what you said? You, you won with Renekton. Yeah, I won with Renekton, okay. but that, I think that was a fluke. Well, the problem is like whatever champion I pick for you, you're gonna you probably time. lose because you're you're. you're we have twenty five seconds. Actually, <coughs> Ben, Where you are point? great at whatever champion you choose. Okay. Can we do Nar? Just trust yourself. Okay. Can we do Nar? Are, are we doing Nar? Can, are you, just, can you play Nar, Dodo? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna do Nar. What runes? What runes? Listen, Whatever ben. runes you think are best. I'm not going to give you my runes. How you win games in League of Legends is mm -hmm. to press the buttons better than your opponent. Okay? So that is, that is what you have to focus on. Can you pretend that we are in... Um, oh, shit. I lock in. I almost died. Oh, shit. Can we pretend that we are in... Why are you taking heal better? Dude, I, I don't know. I'm kind of freaking out right now. Hold on. Okay. Ignite. Can... Okay, that's, that's fine. That's uh, fine. Pretend we're in LCS and you're about to like coach me. Like we're going into the game. What w what would you say to me right now? Just have fun. Play the game. I don't like how Dodo's staring at me. Is that why we lost in the final? <laughs> yeah. Is that really, is we that really we, why you're going to say the players? We, we forgot how to play the game. Okay, what should I buy? Uh, so, Wait. Hmm. Oh my god. What are you playing as? I'm playing as Nar. Uh, he went press the attack. I went grasp. Okay, okay. Wait, what uh, is this? What about this? Yeah, 
I like I like top. So I I call them tabbies, but even though they're not called tabbies anymore, but steel caps. That's anymore. nice. Uh, well, this? I think I built to win. You should buy health pots, but like no, now I don't you're need just trolling. Uh, yeah, now you're just trolling then. Literally okay. just trolling. So, so I what? I can't. What's my win condition? The mouse is. Well, your mouse is messed up. So yeah, my cap. I can't. I can't tell you because if I tell you, he will know. If I tell him, he will listen, and he will know how to play that better than you. So no, I'm gonna. Won't. So think think deeply about what I'm gonna say. Okay. Okay. Uh, walk into the enemy tower. <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. I've never had you coach me before, actually. Mm. Okay, so this is good. You're standing oh. in the bush. This is good. Bush the, control I, is good. I, I can't. I can't uh, move. Hold on. Dota's mouse is messed up. Yeah, like this I'm is your win condition. I, think, <laughs> I, 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 I okay, well, just trust me, okay? okay. Dodo, what's what to do with the mouse? I, I think I'm good. I'm you're sorry. good. Okay, well I'm okay. building up rage. So uh, don't so uh, walk into the bush. No, you, but you can last it from the like. Why are you standing like this? Where, I'm where trying to shove he? the wave. You don't have to do it this fast. But I'm trying to get XP. Okay. Did I miss the minion. I missed the minion. You missed the minion. This is actually GG for you. Okay. Dodo, Nar no, is my best champion. So now. Uh, now you just kind of want to crash this and uh, hit the t tower. You can kill the tower. Like killing tower works, right? Yeah, that's a one v one too. It's first one to a hundred minions. Okay. First one to a kill. You, okay. That's or good. first one to kill the tower. Okay. Ooh, nice skin, Dodo. Nice chroma. Okay. Oh, look at this thing I take from you. Yeah, you you probably should trade before you take it. No, I just wanted to stop him from getting it. Okay. But you see, you don't even, like you're actually thinking. So that that's like step one. Oh, okay. So. Shit. I didn't. I didn't mean like walk into the tower, Ben. I, that was that was for Dodo to do it. Oh, okay. Okay. How am I doing so far, Coach? Uh, well, you're taking too much damage. This oh is, my god. This is the problem of like not running pots. Uh, you should have definitely taken pots. You can't base in this mode, right? No, you can't base. Uh, so now I don't need to base because I got this. Now thing. you gotta take this. Heal up. Heal up. Yeah. I go into the bush. This has to be exciting for people Dude, to watch, right? You. Okay. So. Walk into the bush. No, Dodo's like, here. Dodo's before here. Before this, because okay, now you're just, I, I don't know. I give up. On this. <laughs> that was that was actually so okay. You should take bush control because then you can you can auto space him before he can auto space what? you. What is auto spacing exactly? So that means you can you can get more auto attacks on him than he can get on you because you get the first hit. I think I think I lost. So you should play with the. You should. <laughs> I, it's you should over. Play with the. Is it, a, is it a coaching diff? Yeah, I don't is know. Is a coach diff? I give it's up. over. Let's yeah. leave game. It's over. Well, thanks for playing, guys. That was a lot of fun. That was a waste of time. I think everyone had fun. <laughs> everyone involved had fun. Um, we're going to take some fan questions now. So, uh, Twitch chat, if you got questions, shoot, shoot them in. Uh, so usually, we are... You, when when I was on the show last time, but yeah. I could see the, the chat. Dude, talk to the producers. Uh, what happened? Producers? What happened? They got lazy. They got lazy. Uh, but wow. they also deserved a week off, you know? Or, yeah, yeah. Why don't I just go on Twitch? You want to go on Twitch? Yeah, yeah. I, dot... Twitch.tv slash Bud Light. Slash Bud Light. Okay, I'm up. Mm. Guys, shoot some questions. Uh, we'll get them over right now. Oh, wait, 61 viewers. We gained four viewers in an hour. That's Crazy. pretty good. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, any questions? Let's see. Well, I have some prepared here. Not from me, but from fans already. This one is from MH Book Lover. They want to know, best memory from the split? Mm. Hmm. Best memory. Best memory. Wow. There are a lot of good ones. There are good ones. Some um, of the good ones are when we had a barbecue at the apartment. You know, mm -hmm. we have a really nice barbecue area at our apartment. Mm -hmm. And then we you know, we have all the all the team, the academy team, the whole the whole League of Legends department just chilling. I'm like the one cooking all the time. I helped. But Good job, Ben. <laughs> but no, it was it was fun. It was just fun. Those are those are some good memories. Uh, I remember. Um, I remember our just after we beat uh, TSM and qualified for Worlds. Um, I remember I was. Uh, I remember I was like uh, congratulating uh, Bonnie uh, because it has been a while since he got to go to Worlds and. Uh, I could just see like the the joy on his face and like excitement to be able to play at Worlds again. That was that was a good memory. Um, else, some other memories were. Uh, so I don't. Was it for the split or for the That's season? The whole year. The whole the whole. Um, 
I I think game the first series uh, the series we played against TSM so apparently it's always against TSM whatever <laughs> <laughs> but uh the in the um, sh- mid season showdown mm-hmm. um where we played TSM the first day on Saturday and we won with uh with John uh in uh, stepping in when when Lucas was sick uh I remember uh like watching John like grow from game to game and like from the day to day like how much he uh really uh took in the opportunity and like just played his game i thought that was like i was very very proud of him and uh excited for him to get that opportunity um yeah we make good memories when we play tsm <laughs> <laughs> that's what i learned just yeah. a tsm hater and uh, no 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 he's an everyone hater yeah no jonas only has love in his heart uh Jeelzier, J E E L S I E R, wants to know Do you think a play style of being mid focus compared to top focus could be more applicable for worlds? More mid focus than top focus? Mm-hmm. Uh, Don't tell Barney. I think um, so. When you play a top focus game, it is actually also a mid focus game. Uh, the reason for it is because a lot of the action that comes around uh, creating plays on top side is through controlling mid lane because most of the plays comes from comes from comes from it and spreads so um i think we have been doing that uh to some extent obviously it could it could be better uh but a lot of plays uh in the early game uh comes through uh movement from mid jungle and uh, i think we will get to see the same at worlds so um if if you're if that's what you you're you're alluding to or want want to happen uh it's 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 definitely gonna happen yeah okay don't know anything to add no i mean i it's true i mean like if you want to play through top you have to play through mid it's it's just simple you, you usually always have to play through mid all the time even playing through top or playing through bot so it's yeah there's isn't like a huge difference uh, this next question comes from Sean Sung. Question for Cold. Is it true you got D's nuts on by TL Yon, the Academy AD carry today at 6.45 p.m. in front of the Alienware training facility? Um, so, uh, Ben, I'm an honest man. And, you know, when someone uh, harasses me, I've learned that you're uh, you're supposed to share it with, with you know, the... The HR. man, the HR, yeah, and I will, I, I'll just, I'll say yes, you know, I, I got absolutely harassed by uh, a young guy called Jan, Sean, and um, I'll bring hopefully, I'll bring I'll hopefully, bring something will be done about this. I'll bring, um, I'll, I'll bring it up. No. <laughs> uh, Slammy Baby wants to know what steps is the team going to take to make sure they can adapt to world's patches. Uh, I so step one read the pat- patch notes <laughs> <laughs> uh step two um step two is to do uh, a lot of uh investigation on on like data from the patch uh sadly we will like usually where you get a lot of um uh knowledge from from a patch how well it's doing what is looking strong is from from not just watching your own scrims but also watching like uh, other regions play but doing worlds the only thing we have is is our scrims and practice and data. So uh, we will be using that those two to figure out what works best for us. Do you have anything to add? Yeah, I think I think you Ben need to play some solo queue in mm-hmm. Europe to figure out the what the know, low elos are doing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think you know who knows you might get a really good idea. I might get a good idea. I, I, I only have good ideas. I, you, you might. Uh, this next question is in the same light. Uh, it's from Book Lover. They want to know if we could see any champion at Worlds this year. Who are you hoping to see? Who do you want to make a cameo? Huh. Dota, let's start with you. A champion? Yeah. I mean, there's so much so much champions that came out this year. So there isn't any like crazy champion that I want to see. And the uh, one you're hoping is meta? Sona, Tom, bot lane. <laughs> Bring it back. Oh, my God. The, the most fun meta ever. Please, no. Please no. Uh, what do I? So I always like it when uh, at the World Championship you have champions that can uh, express individual skill. 
some of the most notable are like the classics are like listen um I, whenever there are champions like this in the uh, in the in the meta for worlds I, I think it's always exciting to watch uh similar to like the it was the akali akali silas uh aurelia these these kind of champions that just lets the individuals show their their skill i think is very cool to watch um outside of that not so much yeah this question is from aziz 050 dodo did you make any plans to order as many sour cream and onion pringles as you can for the boot camp in eu are you known for eating sour cream and onion pringles am i <laughs> i don't know i mean those are good but you know i uh i can make it work Ben, it's in his contract. <laughs> it's, it is. He will not work unless there are sour cream and onion <laughs> pringles and no green M and M's. We're gonna take one last question, and this one is from TL Happenstance. He That's wants a nice to know. Name. It's a cool name. He works here. You should say hi to him sometime. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what non-video game related things are you guys excited to do in EU? Oh, hmm. uh, well, I'm excited for something that I can't share because it requires us to say the location. You're doing a great job. Well, in Netherlands, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I would like to uh, get their fries. The, the, there's a really good uh, Belgian fries place called Mannequin Piss. Uh, <laughs> what is it called? It, it's called Mannequin's Piss. Mannequin Piss because it's based on the the mm. the statue in Belgium. Uh, ma ma there's a, there's a small uh, mm. statue in Belgium, a very a small mannequin that pees, <laughs> uh, and and it's pretty good. It's a really good place. I'll take you guys there. Thanks. Mm. On the so I'm card. Mm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to go to Amsterdam to the favorite street uh, there. What street? What can street? You, can you? Elaborate We've never been more? to Amsterdam. Red light oh, district? huh? Red light district? Uh, can you say it again? Red light district. It makes sense. What do you do? What do you do in the red light district? I'm uh, just going for like a casual night walk. Yeah. You know, Jonas said his night walks. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I like to walk around in the night. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah, you Once in a while, you get hit in the face by <laughs> by people. Mm -hmm. You know. It can happen. happen. Well, that's the end of our show. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's been so great seeing you both after not seeing you. Ben, your face just keeps getting uglier. So I <laughs> What the fuck? Uh, I'll bring that to HR. Don't worry. Thank you. No, thank that's, you. that's harassment. Uh, thank you for inviting us, Ben. It has been a, a great time. Uh, lovely company. Uh, Dodo 8, as always. Yeah, trashy. Can I see you guys shake hands? Just like make sure you're not pissed off about the fact that he so like he killed you, Ben. Yeah, COVID. Yeah, <laughs> COVID. Come on, we're six feet apart. We're not supposed to chat, touch right. uh, anyone. Yeah. yeah. So we can't do like a three-way jump hug after this. No. Okay. No. No. Well, I gotta cancel all my plans for the night. <laughs> but also to uh, so to all the people watching, uh, exciting times ahead. Worlds. Uh, we are excited for it. Um, it's going to be a blast. Any sign off for you, Dodo? Yeah, it'll be fun. Just uh, keep watching. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Team Liquid League YouTube channel. Uh, DM or not DM us, but tweet at us any movie suggestions or TV show suggestions we should watch on the flight. Uh, and if you know anything about the Netherlands that you think we should know, just let us know. If you got any restaurant recs or anything that we should check out. Hit us up. I know a few. Hell yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you all for watching. And thank you guys for being here. This is the TLBL Show. Good night.